Hi guys, and in this week's video I'm going to talk to you about object tagging in Snowflake. And if you stay till the end of the video, we'll go through a demo and an example of how to use that. But what is object tagging? So it's essentially a relatively new feature in Snowflake of how you can tag various objects in your Snowflake account. So that includes virtual warehouses, tables, databases, uh, tasks, quite a large range of objects. Basically, you can think of object tagging as a way of categorizing and grouping together objects for different purposes. And that might be things like tracking sensitive data, tagging particular tables and columns that have classified or sensitive data is often a common use case that I see out there. So you create and define a tag once, you assign it to your objects, and then crucially, the value comes in when you need to retrieve or discover tags. And we'll look at how we do that in the demo. Also, if you're using replication, tags are replicated from the primary to the secondary database as well. So you don't need to worry about what's happening on the secondary database. And you can also set up privileges specifically to groups of users or roles, for example, such as data stewards, who can create and manage and maintain tags themselves. That allows you then to decentralize the role of data governance in your organization. So let's get into the demo. I hope you find this useful. So we're just quickly going to hop over to Snowflake now just to, for a demo to see how object tagging actually works. So first of all, we're just going to create a few different databases. We've got a finance one, sales, marketing, and then governance. Our governance database in this scenario is going to be used just so we can create our tags within that database. The rest of them, finance, sales, and marketing, we're just going to assume they're user databases out in our business used by those departments. And we want to create tags and associate tags with those particular databases and business units. So within the governance database, we're going to create a schema called tags. And then we're going to create a tag itself and we're going to call the tag cost center. And we're going to specify optionally that we are allowing the following values, accounts and sales. So we've successfully created the cost center tag. If you want to retrieve a DDL for a tag at any stage or in any environment, and this might be really useful if you're new to a client or new to a new organization and they've got some tags in there and you want to see how they've been defined, you can just run the select get DDL function. You can use this on a range of objects, not just tags, and executing uh, this particular command gives you the original DDL we used to create it. Moving on to apply the tags, we're going to apply them to our database level. But remember, you can assign a tag to a whole range of objects in your Snowflake account from virtual warehouses to schemas to tables, streams, views and columns and a whole lot more. So just think of it as, as an easy, convenient way to categorize your objects within your Snowflake environment. Here we're going to alter our finance and sales databases and set the tag cost center to one of the values that we've set earlier on, accounts and sales. We're gonna run those, and that's run successfully in both instances. Now, we're also gonna to try to apply a tag using a value that's not part of our allowed values that we created when we set up the tag. So in this case, we're gonna to try to apply a marketing value using the cost and the tag to the marketing database. So let's just see what happens when we run that. We get an error. So the error says value marketing is not allowed by the specified allowed values for tag cost center. Okay, not a problem. So if we want to add another value to the tag, we can just alter the tag using the alter tag statement, alter tag cost center, and we can add a new allowed value called marketing. Now what happens when we try to run that same statement again, it allows us to apply that particular value. If we want to verify the allowed values that we've optionally set on any particular tag, we can use the system function. And in this case, I'm passing in the database schema and tag name itself. So if I execute this command here, I can see it returns an array of the allowed values, accounts, sales, marketing. So that's great. So that's how to create tags, um, specify allowed values, assign them to different objects. Now we need to retrieve them to actually make use of them within our environment. To do that, we're going to switch to use the account admin role. And we're going to look into the Snowflake account usage schema. 
So this is the Snowflake environment, uh, sorry, the Snowflake database. So this is the Snowflake database that is set up as part of every single Snowflake account. You have an account usage schema in there. You've then got this tags table. So if we um, run this command, so now if we go and try to retrieve our tags, we can use the Snowflake database and the account usage schema. In there, there's a table called tags. Note the fact is that I am specifying a where clause, where the delete is null, because this particular table also includes tags that have been deleted from the account previously. If I run that statement, you can see I get a single record back from my cost center tag. It tells me what schema it is and the database, as well as the allowed values in this array. That's one way of understanding the tags available in your account and if any allowed values have been set. Plus, like I say, we'll keep a history of any tags that have been deleted as well. If I want to do the almost the reverse of that, if you like, um, by specifying what tags have been applied to these particular objects, I can provide a tag name to the system function called get tag. I can then provide a uh, an object and tell the function what the object is. In this case, I'm providing it with a finance database. If I execute that, I then get back that text value that I've attached to my database. So that's how you create a tag, apply it, and retrieve it. So it's really easy to use. Don't forget that you could set up permissions so your data stewards, for example, can manage the creation as well as attaching the tags to different objects so they can handle all of the maintenance. And if you're set up in a account for primary and secondary database, that will also be replicated between the databases for you. So you don't need to worry about inconsistencies between your two databases. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, keep watching, keep subscribing. New videos coming soon. I also wanted to let you know about our Master and Snowflake program of myself that we run and it's, it's an exclusive signature program to help you master Snowflake and learn how to design, implement and scale solutions in the cloud. And I've designed this program specifically for those people who have either scratched the surface using Snowflake or who are stuck working with legacy on-premise technologies and haven't been invested in by their companies and have fallen behind in their career. And what I've done is packaged up my knowledge and experience of working with Snowflake since 2017 and learning how to package up Snowflake's out-of-the-box capabilities in a way where you can apply them in the real world to address common challenges. So this program isn't about theory. Of course, I need to introduce you to the concepts if you're new to Snowflake, and many of my members are, but it's really about introducing the theory and then in practice how you apply those in the real world. I've been through the pain of understanding what works and what doesn't, now I've got a formula or a set of recipes, if you like, that show you how to do that. So the Master and Snowflake program includes in-depth, on-demand video course content that I've created that all include practical hands-on demos. I provide access to all the code, templates, and files that I use as part of those demos. So you can download them and use them freely. You may want to use them in your day-to-day -day work. You may want to take them and customize them and use them as a starting point. All members on the program get exclusive access to a members-only group where everybody can help each other out and share their knowledge and best practice and get expert advice. Finally, I also carry out a group 60-minute coaching call with all the members, totally optional, where you can ask me anything about Snowflake, data analytics, data strategy, data architecture, you name it, um, interview advice, and I can help you and give my um, input and help and support and guidance around that. Finally, you'll get lifetime access to all feature updates. Snowflake's changing and evolving. There's new features and releases every week, and you'll continue to benefit from those updates as well. At a high level, there's 10 modules. This is what we cover, everything ranging from the Snowflake architecture to getting data into Snowflake. And then once you've got data, how do you effectively use it, secure it, share it, and work with it to ensure that you get the maximum value from your Snowflake implementation. If you're interested, I've included the application link in the video description below. If this sounds like the thing that you're looking for and you want to supercharge your career, and if you're ready to take the ultimate step, 
I'd really encourage you to fill out the application form below.